Alright, everybody, welcome to tonight's action here for Valorant. We are in the postseason for KCAC double elimination bracket right now, and things are going to heat up tonight with Concordia University up against Ottawa in what should provide to be a really good match between these two teams, both teams right now. And, uh, we're immediately going to get, uh, we're immediately going to get a restart. So, uh, <laughs> we will, uh, unfortunately be, uh, literally right back as, um, we'll have to leave the match. Because ISO, the character, the new character there is not currently allowed. So now we'll just have to wait for Lightning to get out. It's the defender's coach. And uh yeah, we'll get things uh we'll get things reset here kind of quickly, so. So sad we will not see ISO tonight. As uh it is the new character that was just released, and he's pretty dang good. As far as I have seen everything so far from him so it's just one of those characters that can really do some work especially in those of course 1v1 situations mostly that he excels in but not to mention just a pretty decent all around if you have good aim then you will do very well with that character but we won't see him tonight instead We'll be seeing a different group of individuals for the Concordia side. They will be attacking to start. We've got Tywood playing Cypher, Giggles Potato on the raise, Small Potato on your Drafe playing Sky, and Ashram is going to be on the Astra. The opposing side, we have Flo also going to be playing Astra. Rise by Android, Aru. He's going to be playing He'll be Oh my gosh Don't don't stop giving me all the The head bobs there y'all He's going to be playing on the chamber Yoru picked by Dinger Same as Small Potato And then We'll get things started Right here, right now, Concordia gonna move out, see what they get. Headshot. Big damage, but Flo finding the first kill there. Aru finding one onto Giggles Potato. And immediately gonna throw down more. Astrum takes out Aru, but Small Potato found by Infinity. So 3v2 situation right now for Concordia. Infinity is low. Nicely done there. They can get the kill, but Android around the corner finds the last kill onto Ashram, so it'll be a team ace actually out of Ottawa to get things kicked off here on the map. And uh, of course I forget the name of the character, but Infinity is playing also a newer character that was released here not too long ago. This one of course being uh, legal in our play currently, been out for long enough. But Concordia is going to have their work cut out for them going into this Ottawa team. The Ottawa team is very, very good. The blinds come through. Dinger finds Drafe. And that's Infinity finding Tywood. So now Concordia looking for their options, but Small Potato finds a kill. Android will turn it back onto Small Potato. We got both Astrum. And Giggles, Giggles actually finds a kill. And that should be a little bit of damage on Aru, not a ton. And 
And that will be Aru finding Giggles Potato there. Defenders to win again. And Concordia. Starting out 0-2 currently at the start. As be a nice two-round up for Ottawa. And so now Concordia will have the rifle by this round. And... Not by too much has the rounds been won on the side of Ottawa. So Concordia hoping here to try and find a good round on the other side. A little bit of aggression here from Android as they're going to try to get as much information as they can, knowing Concordia is not over on this side. Concordia trying to take advantage and control mid here. Ah, oh, and Tywood not able to find the kill he wanted. Android, though, will get traded. Ashram will get taken out by Dinger, but Dinger is taken down then on the other side. So now it is a 3v3 Concordia looking for their options here. And the shots do ring true. Giggles Potato finds flow. So now we'll see what Concordia can get done in their first 3v2 situation benefit for them right now. Aru firing through the smoke, not able to find anyone immediately. Concordia being patient here. Aru throws himself back into the corner. Nicely done. Giggles Potato with a 3k right now. And planting Spike. As Infinity is going to have to find themselves into the top. Finds a couple good shots there. But he's going to probably just try to save here, I would imagine. Not maybe going to risk a ton. Maybe look for a couple kills. But if he can't find anything... Well, no, he's going to commit fully to sight here. Two of them go through. And he doesn't get the defuse. That'll be Giggles Potato with a 4K there. But the Concordia members lining up there. But nonetheless, Concordia going to get their first round back here. With a good plant and quite a bit of money in their pocket. We'll see how things go. It'll be a full buy, of course, on the other side as well. Or excuse me, not a full buy on the other side. Flo's going to get the op. But really not much more than that. The rest of their squad on a light buy here. I'm not sure if they bought heavy in the first round or not. Small Potato does get taken out, but Giggles finds the return kill. Aru to find Astrum, and they still have that Operator sitting in the back. Drafe does find Aru, and Infinity on the top side here, but the plant is going to come through. Oh, man, Flow with the Operator in the back there. Rafe looking to find anything he can, but he's so far off site, it's not even funny right now. Android does find the kill there. Team Ace for Ottawa coming through again. So I'm kind of unsure as to why they had such a, a weak buy there. It was kind of weird, but uh, nonetheless, they now will go into this one with a full buy in Concordia. Probably looking to save up one round here. Before moving forward with this, but looks like it from Concordia's side. Right now, they're just going to try to find some pressure mid on the other side. Much the same question here, and that is a lot of blinds. Dinger finds two. Android finds one. Massive push on to sight. 
Kennedy finds one there. Trying to take out the walls there is Aru. Is Astrum is here. He'll find one. Probably not going to be able to find much more than that. This is get peaker advantage there. And it will turn into a 1v1 scenario. It is Operator versus I have this fight. a Vandal. Now, Concordia waiting to see exactly what's going to happen here. Moving towards the B site is Astrum. Flo is waiting, and Astrum is on this site. Spike will be planted. Unfortunately, oh, that was a really good shot there. And it's going to be a 1v1 scenario here, no matter how you slice it, between these two. Because as soon as he tries to tap it... Yeah, now he's going to have to try and tap it again. There's the first attempt there. That was a, a well done round there by Concordia. One second, peep. I gotta visit the to play and now, that. once again, is it was the operator probably was gonna make the, all the difference there in the end of that. Flo had the shot, I think, there at the end. But well, we are gonna see Small Potato coming in here. Gonna find out all this information that he can. And he does find actually the first kill here onto Flo. No operator gonna be in his hands as Android and Dinger find kills, but Dinger gets traded back. Once again, small potato in the far back here. He will have the operator out. Giggles finds Android. And the rest of the Concordia squad trying to get to this point. And wow, uh, that was an interesting shot. Somehow, like, found that Astrum was going to be in this corner. If he knows about Astrum finding through, he does indeed. And so now we've got Concordia down by two rounds here. And uh, Concordia looking now to try to push on. Find another round here, maybe try to bring it back to one. They've been doing well in these off rounds, and so we'll see what opportunities they can find here. So now let's see what opportunities they find. Dinger is going to try to throw his everything here, and ah, big catch there as... Dinger now finds Giggles. Giggles finds Android, though, and Aru is taken down by Astrum, so trade back, so it's still a 3v3 situation here. Infinity is in a weird spot, but Astrum finds him through the wall. Nicely done there. Dinger looking to try to find any more kills here, and Concordia still committing to this mid pressure. Astrum with a 3k right now finds Dinger, which is a really nice kill. So 
right now. Concordia is chasing him down. What are they going to get? It just gets diffed there. Kind of hard. And now Flo looking for Drafe and Drafe. Kind of trying right now to slowly rotate. He needs to get to a site here. Nicely done. Drafe able to find Flo. And uh, going to throw down. Does not want to pick up that operator. The operator that Flo has been on has found at least a little bit of success here with. But... Honestly, I, I think most of the reason he hasn't is just because Concordia has been kind of forcing him into uh, funny positions. When he was a long back in the, you know, on the site here back in screens, he had a, a good, you know, couple shots back then. But since then, Concordia hasn't really been threatening that, and they will this time. And they are going to throw down Astra Ultimates. And see what kind of options get opened up now for both teams. Flow incredibly low, by the way. Over here on the side. And going to try to find best they can. These Astra ults will be going down. Concordia does have one man over at B, but he will be pulling back. Astrum here holding mid as Concordia is really looking for this B site push. Now here we go. That goes down. And now a couple long range shots there because most everybody knows it's going to be an A hit at this point. Dinger up in heaven. See a small potato can find him. He can, but Dinger finds the shots and gets the kill first. And that was a quick flick there from Infinity to find Tywood. Giggles gets a kill. But there is a target captured. Drafe doing everything he can. But with that, Infinity gets the kill onto Drafe. And that will be Android finding the last kill onto Astrum. So that is going to be 5 3 once again, getting back their two round lead is going to be Ottawa University. Over there. So now it looks like once again, locking down mid will be everybody here. Does seem that KU flow or WKU flow is gonna look for this giggle potato finds one. Oh my goodness, all of Concordia now falling apart here. Nice kill there for Tywood on the flow to at least make sure it's not a clean flawless round. But that does mean we go six to three now in our rounds. Ottawa looking to try to find a little bit more momentum here. Going into the last bit of the first half. Three rounds left. So Concordia will get a full buy off this round. But it is going to be a rough round next one. If they continue to have another drought here. And there are going to be a couple pushes forward here. Dinger. Gonna try to have a fight here. Dinger does get Drafe. Small Potato still hiding in this corner. And Tywood does get found mid. So now Concordia looking for anything they can. Small Potato finds a couple, but Xfinity will clean up Small Potato and Giggles Potato. They do know where Ashram's sitting right now, but they also know where Spike is, so I believe, as you can see on the map, they are just going to rotate to watch the only angles he's got to really come through to Spike. 
That is a long hallway there, and both of them are going to sit. One will be high and low, so that if Ashram does peek this corner, it's going to be kind of a quick catch here. And Xfinity does find the shots onto Ashram. So 7-3 to now for Ottawa University as they start to get a little bit of a roll here. And Concordia is going to have to save up big this round to go into the next one with any sort of firepower. I say that, but right now kind of, well, half shield buys and vandals is what I'm seeing, so kind of walking that back a little bit, a few judges. Full shields and judges will see exactly what they can get away with here in Xfinity up top. Xfinity, Infinity up top with that Main push, and everybody now deaf and muted here. And that's going to be Dinger finding Ty Wood to get things started here. Small Potato is in the back, but what can he find? Astrum finds, or uh, Giggles Potato finds one, but there's not much more to be found here. Small Potato in the back. All he had was a pistol that round, so rough round for Concordia, but it had to have been a save round. There's no other way they could do that, especially before this round right here, last round in the half. Dinger and Ty would have their ultimates, as long as as well as Flo, so there could be a big Astra ultimate coming through here. Giggles Potato gets one shot and a kill, or an orb. He also could have the opportunity to ult. Infinity also has the opportunity, and it actually might look like here that they are going to go immediately for this orb. does indeed go for it, so that's going to be him taking that dinger. Small Potato trying to hide here. Is it... Dinger had run around into their backfield, the back line, I guess, of Concordia, but didn't end up coming out of his ultimate. Instead, they're all going to push forward here. What kills can come through? Dinger finds one, but Ashram will get it. Eagles Potato finds him. And that'll be Astrum finding that kill there. Or Astro Android finding the kill onto Drafe. There's one member left. And Android finds Small Potato with his ultimate there to end the round. So things get... Switched around now here on the half. The 9-3 curse hopefully goes in the direction of Concordia here. And they can find a few rounds back here on the fence. To be a little honest, though, there is a very good player on the side of... Or a very lots of good players on the side of Ottawa. And so I sense that there is going to be a good push from them here. Especially onto the A site. It looks to be that kind of a push. Lots of smokes there. Probably going to get popped immediately by the Astra on the side of Ottawa. Yep, all the Astra stars is going to get popped here. And that's a nice initial kill immediately on the flow. So all those Astra stars that were put down there are going to be useless. Oh my gosh, Tywood finds a shot onto Infinity. That's insanity. That's a third. Nearly four for Tywood as Aru finds that. Giggles Potato finds the kill there. And Small Potato finishes it off. Defenders to win that is... The initial push there was good. From... The uh, side of Ottawa... But uh, it is going to be more of a, as soon as the Astra was taken out, kind of thwarted the plan of, okay, we run into all the smokes and go. And Tywood just found, I think, too many really just ridiculous shots there uh, to uh, kind of end the, the push they had. It was a really good, you know, thought through plan there, but just... Uh, Iwood on the other side does find a kill, but 
Android finds one right back onto Astrum. And Flo does get taken out, but Dinger finds the kill there. Throwing down these... Uh, I'm not 100% sure why they even have the character if they're just going to continue to break all this, but... Up top is Android finds one, two. And uh, does get traded back. Small Potato finds him, but... Infinity's gonna know where that went. Knows that it got followed. Nicely done, though. Small Potato finds a kill. We do have Dinger right here. Nicely done. Small Potato with the gun out. Dinger was going for the knife kill there, but Concordia able to find two rounds here. With another clutch. for Concordia. So, with the two rounds there, the pistol round and the bonus in hand, or sorry, the pistol round in the second round, now here's the bonus where on the other side, they should get to full buy. Once again, I think they might have, I, I guess I keep, I keep meaning to check whether they're full buying or, or half buying or what they're doing in that third round because side KWU... They are just looking for all this. Android finds Giggles Potatoes in a nice push there. Concordia trying to find what they can. But right now, it's going to be Android finding the 3K right now. Small Potato going to jump away there. Ashram finds Dinger, but Android is looking for the ace. And he will find it. Nicely done there from Ottawa to get that round. And now Concordia will look to try to match it here on this round. Still have the full rifle by. Now Concordia looking for the defense here. Dinger is going to push through as everybody's going to be on this A site and just moving in. Astrum taken out by Android immediately there with his ultimate. And the spike will get planted very quickly here. Xfinity. I, why do I keep saying Xfinity? That's freaking like an internet provider. Infinity finds the kill. Nicely done though from Tywood. He gets two immediately. And they're going to get the information about where the rest of this squad is. Nicely done from Drave to get that kill, but it is just going to be a 1v1 scenario now. But unfortunate, in the blind there, Android finds Drave. And that does mean the round goes over. It will be 11 to 5. As Ottawa's going to look for two more rounds here. Aru is going to go on the operator. And, uh... We'll have to see about some things in between but uh concordia right now looking a little tough it is going to be a mid push like a mid massacre a little bit here as small potato ran through all of them i i, I don't know if he realized that or not like i think he knew that he ran by a few but i don't think he realized that he literally ran by all of them and all of them ran straight through to a Putting down everything now. Drafe does find a kill. Can he find another one? He cannot. Infinity finishes that one off. Ashram taken out by Aru. 
who has the operator currently. And uh, Concordia now looking for their options here. So Mary Tywood actually finds Dinger, who is trying to throw the fake out, but instead does not fool Ty. We'll look up high here as Concordia looking through this. Aru looking through his scopes. Can find Tywood. Can he find... Or sorry, can find one, but can he find Tywood? Cannot right now. And uh, the knife kill does come through for Android. Onto Tywood, so... They get match point in their favor. And, uh, we'll, uh, have to see how this match point goes. Right now, Concordia has five, but probably going to be a very tough round here. And Zinger actually taken out by Small Potato to start. Infinity is found, though, and Dinger finds Giggles Potato. Ashram finding KU Flow and Dinger. So Android now, along with uh, Aru, the only ones left here on site. But that is Android finding a kill. Ty Wood will get Aru. And uh, it is. Where's the spike? Spike's down behind him there. And Cordia kind of knows that. It's just a little bit like. It's, liter it's literally just Android greeting for it at this point. And he will get traded. 12 6 here. So here we are. See what happens with this push here. Concordia is going to try to get as much information as they can. Drake does find Infinity. That is going to be Tywood getting blinded here. And that is Drake able to find one through the smoke there, but everybody going to get locked down right now on the side of Ottawa. Nicely done. Drake able to get a kill here. I know where Android is. Nicely done there, but Android finds Tywood, able to get him taken out. And there we go. Giggles Potato with the round. Finds Android there, so that's now two rounds Concordia's been able to string together. But it is still match point on the side of Ottawa. Just a good round by them would mean that... This round would be over, but Concordia doing all right right now. Like I said, Ottawa playing with a little bit more... Well, just a little bit more reckless, not necessarily... We're going to finish this all off super early, but that is going to be the ultimate down. All of Ottawa will look to run straight onto point. And with that run on the point, Andrew, Android finds one. Giggles, though, finds two, three. He almost finds the fourth one there. Tywood, nicely done, able to pick up the last kill. And they know that Infinity is way over on the side. That is Infinity, though, taking out Small Potato. Spike is down, though, all the way on the back side of sight, or all the way back here uh, where Astrum is. So now, Infinity is just going to move to high ground. And Infinity looking to 
find anyone he can. He is trying to make his way to Spike, but Spike is in a funky position. It's not going to be easy to find, but never mind. He clutches it up with a 3K. All right. And uh, with that, we'll have a little bit of a break as we switch out between rounds. We'll be right back in just a minute.
Choose your agent. All right, here we are for map two. It's going to be Breeze tonight. Things are going to get interesting here in Concordia University. Up against Ottawa. Ottawa was able to win the first map pretty handily, too. Moving forward, we now have Giggles Potatoes going to be trading with Dinger there on the A site. Oh, excuse me there. Had a little bit of a hiccup on the A site. And meanwhile, we do have nicely done. Tywood finds infinity, but the spike will get planted over here onto the B site. So Drave able to find a kill there. Nicely done. Oh, man. Unfortunately, he gets flashed in the same one that he found Android on. So he will not be finding the kill onto Android. Moving on to site now are both Concordia members trying to find it as Android finds one. And that is going to be a tough position there by Tywood to attempt that. And it will be found between Android and uh, Aru on that one who's playing uh, a little bit back further there in B window. So... Opportunity now for the side of Ottawa, of course, to lengthen this out to a 2-0 situation. Concordia now looking to try to maybe cheese it a little bit here with the buy of the shorty from Giggles. But unfortunately for him, nobody's going to be heading over towards this A site. It is going to be that big one. K -W, uh, KW Flow does find the kill there. And that will be a 3k from him. Tywood on the back side as the entire squad now will look to try to find him. Aru will be hitting the plant. And uh, Concordia now just looking to maybe find something here. Finds Dinger perhaps? No. Will be able to. Gets him really low, but flawless round there from Ottawa University. So, nonetheless... It will be Concordia now hoping to find something back here in this third round. So they'll get the full buy there. On the other side, they will also be getting a full buy as they just kind of let that second round go through as a full bonus. So they will just come out here immediately with rifles to hit us up in round three. So it'll be pretty even, actually, as far as the money spent on both sides for this round. So... KWU moving forward to mid, and Andrave looking to find his position here. Tywood finds two, but there are now two found in return on that side. So Concordia looking for this. Drafe finds one there. Dinger is taken down, and that is going to be Infinity finding Drafe. And now it's Infinity and Android are the two members here, and that's a nice shot there. Android is down. The plant will finish, and Infinity... Finds small potato. Infinity there. Taking the shot onto the member that he already knew he had killed, so it was kind of a 
funky thing there, but clutched out. Infinity does find the kill onto Astrum. And uh, nonetheless, Concordia will go down 3 0 here. And so now. We'll have Ottawa going up here 3 nothing to start, and they will have the full buy. Concordia is going to have to look to piece some stuff together on their side. And it looks like it'll be a little bit of them trying to push out here on A. Tywood looking now to get on the point, but that's going to be his trip wire set out, and uh, he goes down. Not able to find that initially. A lot of shots ringing through here. Small Potato finds Infinity, which is a nice way to start here, but the plant is down here on the B site. And so now that's a nice two kills there. Ashram Small Potato go down. Drafe, last one to fall right after Giggles there. And uh, Concordia will be down 4 to 0. As once again. Trying to find some footing here, and it is right now all coming up on the side of Ottawa. And nonetheless, Concordia is going to look for their options here as they do get the KO knife down to see a little bit information there for the rest of the Ottawa team coming through. Astrum finds Infinity, actually, which is a big shot there. But with that blind coming through, what can Concordia find out of this? Another blind. Astrum, though, finds the pick. And nicely done there on the backside. Tywood even finding one. As Concordia looking for what they can do. They actually have control of Spike right now. Aru, though, is hitting his shots there. He is going to go ahead and ult. Small Potato is to uh, find his way out of here. He's going to know exactly where Flo is, which is a big piece of knowledge. Unfortunately, though... Well, actually, he's going to know. Ashram's going to have a pretty good idea of where Flo is. Well, knew where he was. Does get the shot! Nicely done there. Concordia able to find that round. So Concordia does find one back as uh, it was a hectic round there to start just blind after blind through this narrow passageway. And I think Concordia just got the right looks and the right shots there. And on the other side, Ottawa had a, a pretty good opportunity to bring it back. Especially after they found kind of Tywood on that big flank that had sort of helped out before. We'll see what gets found here as Drafe's going to be looking from this direction, but Dinger finds Tywood, one of the crucial holders on site here. And uh, Giggles Potato is just hiding here. Finds one. Finds two. Nicely done there. This flow does find that kill. Infinity, though, does find Small Potato. Which is probably going to mean the end of this round as Drape is the only one up. He will get taken out there on the back of sight. So. We do have that round. 5-1 to one now. Ottawa firmly sitting in the lead here. And uh, looked like it was going to be an okay start for Concordia there. Especially with the, the hide from Giggles Potato. But... He's not able to... He found two kills and then wasn't able to turn it into much more than that with the ultimate from Flo Dinger. He's going to have his Yoru ultimate here, so he's going to try to get as much information as he can. And he does actually kind of get a lot of info here. Flo taken out by Drafe, and then Drafe on the other side. Finds a kill, but Astrum and Ty would both taken out here on this A site means that Concordia is going to be able to find this plant. Small Potato taken out on the back side as Giggles Potato will fall next. 
six to one will be our score with uh, quite a few rounds here now for of course the side of Ottawa but Concordia will have a full buy this round and try to put up um, a defense and it looks like right now really what uh, is kind of getting done here on the side of Ottawa is they're just really pushing into that open space immediately pushing into mid immediately with the Yoru ult finding out information over here on the A site and the B, and whenever they take B site, they immediately just run straight up to doors. Ashram will know about this, and that is the fake one, but Giggles Potato won't be fooled. He finds Dinger. Ashram, though, gets traded on the other side. Small Potato goes down to Infinity. We do have a flank here from Tywood, but Tywood not going to find what he wanted there. Infinity finds him on the side, which was a big pick. Spike does get planted on the other side. Drafe taken out, but nice shots there, but just don't connect correctly there for Giggles. And so you get that turnaround. So, 7 to 1. And uh, Concordia trying to find anything they can, but once again, this Ottawa team, I believe they are second in the league. Right now, it is down here on the loser's bracket, but I can't remember if they went up against Columbia or, or the other, the number one squad, so that's why they've dropped down here, but they should be finding their way, I would imagine, quickly through here to go on to the next round if Concordia doesn't kind of find their groove. Drafe, though, finding his groove against Dinger there. Nicely done. Oh, man, Infinity finds Small Potato, who just was caught looking the wrong direction. Giggles, though, on the ultimate, does find Infinity. A little bit of help there, of course, from Astrum. But nonetheless, Concordia now holding them in the back of market. But that's Flo with a really nice shot there. Tywood gets the trade back, and they're going to learn where everybody is at. Opportunity now to defuse for them, but... They gotta be careful with this because there is a lot of action around here. It is gonna be Aru who finds Tywood, and now Aru in the corner as he is gonna just peek that corner slowly. Nicely done there as they are gonna get this clutch, please. Oh my gosh, come on, Android. Or sorry, come on, Drafe. Let's find this. Astrum will not be able to find it. Android gets the kills there. And that will be the kill coming through. Android does get taken out by the spike in the end, but nonetheless, that is the round one and four in a row there for Ottawa. Does that mean Concordia finds one? <laughs> it was four in a row and then the one for Concordia. Now is it going to be four in a row and another one for Concordia? We'll have to see what CUNE can throw together. But once again, this Ottawa team moving very quickly onto these sites. I'm... Nice opportunity there. Can he find these shots? He doesn't. Drafe was so close, though. Getting a couple hits there. Flo immediately onto site. And the rest of his team to follow up. Infinity now going to poke through here. And Flo trying to find Small Potato here. Lots of damage coming through onto him. Can he get the blinds off? He's not going to be able to. They do find him there in the shooting gallery a little bit there with everybody showing up to get a piece of the pie. On the other side now, Android moving forward here. That's a nice catch, though. Unfortunately, Android does find the other kill. Tywood finds Aru. Can he find the rest? No, Android finds Tywood. And with that, it is 9-1. Two rounds to go here in the half. It is... Looking a little steep now, a much more decisive and forward round here from Ottawa as Concordia is looking to try and defend this here. Most everybody is on this A site. It's going to be a pretty big save round from them because they don't want to go into the last round totally broke. And so now Concordia looking for what they can, but that's going to be a blind onto Giggles, which means Dinger does find... 
the first one. Astrum finds Android, but Aru gets the trade back. Flo finds Tywood, and I am, of course, missing every single one of these fights. But there is the last one there by Infinity. He finds the kill at the end. And we do go to the 12th round of this half. So, Concordia down 10-1 at the moment. Not looking amazing, but looking at least hopeful. Maybe we can find one round before going to the half. Make it 10-2. But either way, right now, it's going to be Concordia. Ultimates ready for the side of CUNE. Astrum and Small Potato both with theirs. Astrum, I would imagine, pops his immediately here. Does so. All of Ottawa is here. Does find the first kill, though, within his own ult. Two for Astrum. Nicely done. Aru can get one back. But it is going to be Giggles with a trade. Dinger back and Dinger, the only one left alive. Wow, nice shot there from Dinger. Sweet goodness. As he finds the slide coming through from Giggles. And that is well done between Tywood and Drafe to find that round. So 10 to 2. Concordia will not be denied at least a second round. And it is going to be at least a decent half for Ottawa. And on the other side, Concordia, well, they have the work cut out for them. 10 to 2. If they could find this pistol round. It would be a nice start. But as we know on the other side, they have been very, very good. I'll we'll have to see if uh, Tywood maybe can pop off this pistol round like he did. Second half of the first map. We'll see what opportunities see when he gets. And that's going to be some damage onto Dinger, actually, from Tywood and Giggles. Nicely started from Concordia here to get things going. And uh, Flo, though, on the other side, has already found two members in mid, and that's actually going to be nicely done. Tywood finds the trade back. Can they find Infinity here? Not going to be found, at least quite yet. But that will be Android finding Ashram, so it is a 2v3 scenario here. Infinity finds Giggles, which means Tywood is the last man standing for CUNE. He does at least get a kill onto Android and does run around. He might be able to get to the B site in time. And he does not find it. Infinity gets the kill there onto Tywood. And we will be 11 to 2 here before the match point on the fringe here for KW. Or sorry, not KW. Uh, for Ottawa. I keep saying, uh, seeing WKU flows thing and thinking KWU, uh, Kansas Wesleyan for some reason. That's, uh, just a bit of a slip of the tongue there. But nonetheless, on the side of Concordia, they want this round, so there is going to be a bit of a force here. Tywood with a nice shot to initially get things going. He's going to throw some more bullets as much as he can through there. Nicely done. Small potato finds flow. And that will mean a rotation here onto A for all on the side of Ottawa. Concordia going to try to pick something up here, and that is going to be... Oh, a big blind. Small Potato Giggles and Tywood all taken out. Concordia was looking for their options. What in the world is going on here? Uh, we're looking for their options, and they're not going to find it here, unfortunately. And that will be Infinity getting a 3K for himself here in this round. 12-3. That puts things on match point. So nonetheless, we do have Concordia now. Up against match point. I have to find their options here. At least find an initial pick. They they are they found the picks in that last round, and I was really hopeful that that would kind of lead into more. But unfortunately, it didn't lead into anything to begin. And so now, 
Concordia looking for this initial pick here. Blinds from over the top. That's going to be blinds coming through, and that's three members. Dinger has a 3k right now. And that is a good kill there from Tywood. Dinger going to come around this corner. Takes a little bit of damage, though, from this. Oh, actually going to go down completely as Aru. Uh, we'll get the uh, the team kill onto Dinger there. And with that tripwire, unfortunately, there, Tywood fighting for his life. Looking for whatever options he can. He does get the kill. He's going to use his ult. Try to find what he can. Meanwhile, Flo is on the other side, kind of just gatekeeping this. Uh... Nicely done, Tywood finding the 3k so far. As he's trying to make his way back to Spike, because Spike is all the way back here. Oh, what can Tywood get done here? Now he's trying to run. Look for his options here. Nicely done. Oh, Tywood unable to get it done. And that will be the game. So GG's all around. And that will be, of course, Concordia falling here in the double elimination part of the bracket. As uh, we move on now to uh, the end of our season for Concordia in this match. We'll take a quick look at the end score here. 13-3. to It is going to be Infinity and Dinger both at the top. 18 and 16. Tywood right below at 13 of 4. But that will be it from us tonight. And uh, unfortunately, Concordia will be done with the KCAC season. So that will be the end. Good night, everybody.